going to be talking about the technical, degree, technical degrees of a scale and how to write them in for the basic theory exam. So here, just to show you in color, let's take the scale of C. So the first note of a scale would be called the tonic, and that's an important note. Okay? This is the key note, which is also known as the tonic. The second degree, supertonic. The third degree, mediant. The fourth, subdominant. The fifth, dominant. The sixth, submediant. The seventh, the leading note. And of course, we have our upper tonic. Now, for the basic theory exam, they will have you focus on the tonic, the subdominant, the dominant, and I'm going to include the leading tone because we always talk about the leading tone in a minor scale as it's the tone that gets raised. Now there's two ways to write the tonic. They'll say the technical degree name. So it's what we just said, the tonic, the supertonic, the mediant, or it could be identified with Roman numerals such as one, two, three, four. And if anybody knows the Roman numeral for five is just a V. Okay, and it's going to take you to seven. Seven would be V plus I and I. And sometimes you wait to say it like that. That would be the actual Roman numeral. But they also use just the numbers now with a caret sign on top. So if I can just erase that to clean it up for you. And all it is is the degree of where the note is. So one, and you could see this. Two, it just tells you where the degree of the scale is. So let's just get right to the type of question you or one type of question you could get asked. So write in the key signature and the subdominant note of that scale. Well the subdominant note, which in Latin the word sub means under. Okay? So the subdominant, and if you could take it back down to the keyboard. Okay, so here we have, let's take a spell from C to C. We have the tonic note. Okay, let's put the carrot sign on top. Let's count four notes up. One, two, three, four. We have the subdominant note. The fifth is the dominant. And let's have our seventh. And of course, we have our upper tonic. So these two are the same. So there's seven different tones. Now, subdominant. If we go one, two, three, four, five, so dominant means five. One, two, three, four, five, the dominant, which is probably one of the most important notes. It means in Latin dominus, and it means master. Okay? So a chord can be built anywhere like from this dominant key. That's why it's a master key. So the subdominant is below or under the dominant. Or if we go four notes up, we have to remember then it's four. So here we have, let's go back to the question. Okay, we have to write in the key signature. Now they want G major. So it's just written here. G major has one sharp because what comes before G, F. Now let's count up. Let's use this keyboard here. Okay, so for G, one, two, three, four. Where do we land? on C. So here, of course, we're going to land, we're going to draw F, A, and here it's already drawn, but we'll draw in a C. Okay, so here, there's another one that's drawn in for you. F major, the subdominant note of F major. So here is this. Subdominant, as we know, this is the tonic. That would be note one. One, two, three, Four. Now it's B is the fourth, but F major, remember we have to memorize, has a B flat in the key signature, so it will be B flat. And when you write, make sure if they're asking for a key signature, you'll put in the flat, that's for B flat on the line, and this is the subdominant note of F major. So it's where that note falls. So here is another type of question. So let's just do it like this. In the bass clef, Oh, here we're doing subdominant again. So let's just do this time the dominant. Okay, so what is dominant? It means the fifth degree of a scale. 
So in the bass clef right, the following dominant notes using accidentals instead of a key signature. Now remember to read this question. A lot of times students just put in a key signature without reading that it needed accidentals as opposed to writing the key signature. Okay, so let's do the dominant of F. So let's count. What's the dominant of F? One, two, three, four, five. So it will be C. Now we're in the bass clef. Now F major has a B flat in the key signature, so we don't need that. Let's do the dominant of E major. Okay, so let's take it from E. Okay, there's E, dominant, five. One, two, three, four, five. We landed on B. So in E major, what's before E? D. Father Charles goes down, so the B isn't affected. So what did we say the note was? It was B. So you can put it anywhere. You can put it here or you can put it here for the B. It doesn't matter where you put the note as long as it's going to be the note they're asking for. Here we have C minor. Right, so C minor, this dominant note, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, where would we land? We would land on G. Now, because it's a minor question, all right, what do we have to do first? We have to know who C minor is related to. So, we're in the mines. We need to climb up. One, two, three. It's related to E flat major. Remember, it has to be three letter names away, so it's not D sharp, it's E flat major. What's in the key signature? Battle ends and battle ends and we say one more word to the rhyme. So it would be B E A. Right? So we see here this is a G, the fifth note up, the dominant from C, so it's not affected, so we don't have to worry about it. If it was, then we would have to put the accidental in front of the note. Okay, so that's just a quick review on what would be you'd be asked so you could be asked the tonic which is the first the subdominant which is the fourth more the four we would say like that the dominant which is the fifth all right so let's just read a little excerpt Just memorize those things, you'll see that uh, this is not a very difficult question at all. Just have to count and use your fingers. One, two, one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five. Say, for instance, it was in C, you'd go C, D, E, F, G. That's the fifth. Right? So if it was the tonic, that's one. If it's the fourth, C, D, E, F. Or let's say it's from B flat, B, C, D, E. So we've landed on E, then you have to know what's in the key signature. Battle ends. Okay, just so quickly, I'm going to read you a little excerpt, and this is from the Mozart Effect by Don Campbell. Just some interesting notes that he has here. Playing music at home in the office or at school can help to create a dynamic balance between the more logical left and the more intuitive right hemisphere, an interplay thought to be the basis of creativity. So. If you are daydreaming or find yourself in an emotional, un unfocused mood, a little Mozart or Baroque music in the background for 10 to 15 minutes can help to steady your conscious awareness and increase your mental organization. Okay, so now I'm going to leave you with some music and to watch some flashcards, and we'll be back soon. Thanks.